Now I want to entertain you for the last six minutes with something amazing, something that is truly amazing. And it is a form of a battery that is mind-boggling. And the battery is right here on my, my left, on your right. It is a battery that produces an enormous potential difference. Ten, twenty kilovolts. You see a schematic here on the uh, transparency. You have a bucket of water here on the top and you have glass and the bucket of water is hiding behind here. Not that because we hide it from you but that's the best place to be and you see plastic tubing coming down and the water can run out on the right and it can run out on the left. If it runs out here, there is a, uh, some paint can, no top and no bottom. And you see this paint can here, it's completely open, there's a letter A. And there's another paint can on the right, this is a letter B. It's a conducting can, this is also a conducting can. And this water runs into another conducting trash can and this water also runs into a conducting trash can. And now comes a key point that this conductor here, A, is connected through a conducting wire with C and the conductor B, the paint can, is connected with a conducting wire through this trash can D. You let the water run for a while and you will see between these two points here sparks. Even when the points are as far apart as say five millimeters, when you're talking about at least the potential difference of something like ten, fifteen thousand volts, you will see the sparks. And you wait, see another spark. And you wait, and you see another spark. So this is a power supply. And there must be energy coming from somewhere. And so problem four one, which you haven't seen yet on your force assignment, is asking you how this works. I will demonstrate it today and I will come back to it later. The way it works is actually quite subtle, but I want you to think about it. It's a remarkable battery, a remarkable power supply. As the water starts running, I want to draw your attention to the fact that you can almost anticipate when the start, when the spark occurs because the water at the very last is beginning to spread. It doesn't come out anymore just like a narrow cylinder, but it begins to spread and then comes the spark and then it goes back to running normally and then slowly in time it will spread and then comes the spark. So let us get it going. We have some light here. Marcos and Bill spend a lot of time getting this going. Marcos, do I have all my lights the way you want them? You're happy with that. There you see the two bowls, which are really here. And let's first look at the sparks. So I will start the water running now. Let's just be patient a little bit. And let's see where we're seeing spark. Keep, ah, did you see one? Did you see the spark? Oh, you were not looking. Man, you're paying for this. Look at the, uh, look at the two balls. Give it some time again. I have to charge up. Ah, uh, I can already anticipate it's coming up. It's coming up. Da! Yeah. Did you see it? Ten, fifteen thousand volts. Let's give it a little bit more time and then we'll take a look at the water flow, which I can see, I'm close, but we can make you see the water flow. Look again. Ah, it's coming up. Ah, did you see it? I could see it coming up. I can make you listen by having my microphone near the water. You can hear this water running. Familiar sound to all of us. And now the sound changes. You hear change and there's a spark. Once more. Just running. 
Spreading. Coming up. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? I can make you see this water. Just stay there. We have one and a half minutes left. So now you can see the water. You happy with the light, Marcos? You can improve on it. So look at the water. Ah, it was just spreading already. You can't see the spark and the water at the same time. See, the water is running now normally. It's going to spread slowly. I will tell you when I see the spark here, but it's already, I can almost predict when it happens. The water is spreading now. Coming up shortly. Yeah, I saw the spark. And you immediately see the water go like this. I want you to think about it and explain this. This is one of the most remarkable things I've ever seen in my life.